Hey guys, I got Dale here from Mean Green. He's gonna break down his brand new battery operated, fully battery operated commercial grade uh, lawnmowers for us today. Awesome guys. Hey, good to be with you. You know, uh, one thing he said there was the new. Actually, we've been doing this for 12 years. So, you know, keep that in mind. These other manufacturers that are coming on board with battery products, they're gonna take their lumps. But let's get after it. Hey, good morning, this is Dale with Mean Green Mowers. Today we're taking a look at uh, our standard, which is known as the Vanquish model, and our 52 and 60 inch rival, uh, which is the Rider model. Again, both of these right here are fully battery powered products. Um, everything on it is electric. There's no hydraulics whatsoever on either one of these machines. The only thing we do have any lubrication in at all is the planetaries back here on the back within the hubs. There's an electric motor that bolts into that planetary. It holds a, a little bit of 90 weight oil. If it was swapped out annually, um, that would be about all the service that would be necessary on either one of these machines. Again, both of these share a lot of the same components. Uh, they come standard with the wheels on the front. The wheels will be available in the rear in the future, but deck motors, the controllers, all of the components on these two machines are identical. So from that aspect of things, I mean, it keeps your, your parts that, you know, cost down low. There's no belts, there's no pulleys, no fuel, no air filters, no fuel filters, virtually no maintenance. You blow this thing off, you plug it in at night, and you can charge this machine for probably less than $3 in the evening. So with that being said, uh, there's two different battery configurations you can get for either one of these machines. Uh, it would be a 11 kilowatt an hour battery and a 22 kilowatt an hour battery. The 11 kilowatt an hour battery is going to give you approximately four and a half hours of cutting on either one of these machines. And that would be with both the 52 or the 60 inch deck. Uh, from there we go up to the 22 kilowatt an hour battery, which will give you a full uh, seven and a half hours of cutting time on either one of these two machines here as well. From a charging aspect, on these with the 22 kilowatt an hour battery, we recommend uh, the 220 volt charger, which will charge this in approximately from zero to a full charge in approximately 10 to 11 hours. What's it sound like when you turn it on? Let's hop on that one for a second. So this mower is on now. It is on right now. The only wow. thing that you will hear when you originally turn, now the deck is not turning obviously, but when you turn it on right now, what you're hearing is the fan motors in the back and that is something that's unique to us as well when you turn the, the machine on there's two fan motors and it's ducted down to the actual motor that bolts to the back of the planetary so from a heat aspect especially here in uh, south florida um you know that's the only that's the only thing on this mower that actually makes any heat is down here around the actual deck motors themselves other than that i mean i've mowed with these things for several hours you can touch the deck motors and uh, they'll be always cool to the touch. But again, down here on the planetary, that wheel motor will make a little bit of heat. So we've actually got fans and ducting that go directly down to that point. So tell me a little bit about the back of this machine and where the batteries sit. The battery is here in the back of the machine on both of these actually. And that is a patent that we have um, where the, the battery sits down in between the drive motors, giving it that low center gravity and you can actually fully mow on a 20 degree slope with this machine as well due to that low center gravity and that is a patent that we have. Can we open that up? How's that open up? Actually, you can open up a little easier on the one that I have over here if you want to go take a look at it and, and see the, the battery in the back of it. Okay. So, on the Evo here, which is the 74 inch, we've got it opened up here in the back and you can see those fan motors we were previously talking about. You can also see the controllers for your right and left uh, wheel motors. So down in the bottom right here, this is your actual battery. And again, you can see that low center gravity and where we keep it down there in between those drive motors. Again, a patent that we have that, um, you know, we're, we're very proud of and, and keeping that weight low allows you to, to mow on those, those 20. How much slows. does that battery cost? A battery like that's probably going to run you about fifteen thousand dollars. The good thing there is, is with our system, there's individual cells inside of these batteries, so we can plug into this and um, identify, you know, a bad cell, and we could replace one of those in a thousand dollar range versus, you know, having to replace a complete battery. 
But the batteries themselves have been tested to 8,000 hours. And at 8,000 hours, they still hold 90% capacity. Gotcha. What about right here? What do we got? Is this where you're charging? That at? is a charging port there on the rear. Um, the only one that doesn't have two charge ports is going to be the, the Vanquish, the standard. Okay. So both your riders, both versions of those have a charging port in the front and in the rear. And you can even plug two chargers into it at once and put a rapid charge on one of these. Nice. You get in this seat here. So let's turn this thing on. All right. So we do have an actual key here. This, when you pull this out, that button will not function whatsoever. Most operators leave this key in because when you do turn it on, the first thing you're gonna see light up here is going to be the main screen and it says enter your passcode. So for simplicity on the demo units we have here, our passcode is one, two, three, four. Uh, you can go in administratively. Each one of these machines comes with an administrator code, a four digit number that you can go in and change this. So if for some reason you were to fire an operator or um, you know have it go onto a different crew and they needed a different um, passcode, you can go in administratively and change that. But for simplicity right now, this is our passcode. The first thing it brings up, you're gonna see your deck height. You can raise and lower your deck height and preset it here. Now, once you preset your deck height, you have the ability to move it down here with your feet. So you'll see a foot pedal down here in between your feet, which is gonna let, raise and lower that deck after you've preset it here. When you look at your blade tip over here, your blade speed, it'll light up both gray and green. So in the green, you actually have a higher tip speed than you do in the gray. Same thing with the wheel speed. So, and that one's not one of the function. All right, so when you look at the gray, you're gonna have a lower wheel speed than what you would have uh, when it's actually in the green. When you move your... Whoop, you're live. Move that other one in, you'll see. You'll, here, move that other one in. That'll be some good footage. Go. And you can, yeah, you can see it. You can see now that your, 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 your steering controls are in. There's somebody in the seat. Gotcha. And now you can see that they're actually open. Right here is your hours. You hit the mower itself, it shows you how many volts it's actually pulling out. The amps that it's drawing gives you the percentage of battery charge here. And again, this is your home screen, take you right back to where you were. If there are any codes in here, you can press this button right here and it would show you any codes. But typically when you crank the machine up or you push the button and you start it, any codes that would be, um, you know, would be saved in this would show you immediately. And really it gives the technician a head start as to actually what even is going on. If you go into this area right here, again, showing you some more of those diagnostics, you can change the sensitivity of the screen. You can turn the light off and on right here if you had a light kit on this machine. Again, these are available with strobes and LED lights. Um, you can even get them with blinkers as well. So, I mean, sometimes your municipalities and things like that will opt for some of those options. What do we got here? And then this is how you turn it on right here. That's going to be your PTO. Turn on the blades with that, right? I won't, I won't do it right now, but just want the people to see. You got a little cup holder. We got my toes around here. What is this? That is your cell phone holder, and this is for your optional USB port for charging your phone. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Check that out. Something else that's available for them right up here in the front. You'll see a hole in the front of this. There is a blower attachment that will come right in here. The hole here is a pin. This additional charging port in the front is where you would plug that blower in. It runs yeah. off of the battery on this machine. So you pull a pin, unplug it, and there's actually a little polymer sleeve that goes inside of here for the blower. You take it and the blower itself and you could put it on any machine. You can move it from machine to machine. Yes, right now. That hey, something else guys, quiet. if you're used to hydraulics, go easy on this, it's all electric. So, I mean, it's gonna feel a little bit different to you.
one and a two inches, man, where it'll actually mow, okay? Then you need to back over a curb, so you just need to go up with this lever, and this will take you right back down to your, to your preset. This right here will change your blade speed. When it's in green, you'll have a higher tip than it. Green, sometimes like if you're mowing up against, a, uh, say, a building, or, you know, you need to keep that noise level down, maybe you'd go to that, or it's just low grass. You don't need to, you know, you're trying to conserve space. I usually need to tip speed up in the blade. still left in the battery. So this thing's gonna rot to the ground prior to you ever really need to replace the battery. Another thing on the batteries is there's 13 individual cells in them. Um, the battery in this thing right here is probably 14, 15 grand. So if something was to go wrong with this battery, which has a three year warranty, um, obviously we'd cover it in warranty, but we're not just gonna replace the whole battery. We'll plug into the BMS or the battery management system and replace an individual cell. A cell could be like 800 bucks to a thousand dollars versus a customer having to pay fifteen thousand dollars for a battery. So it'd be pretty rare though, for the whole thing to go bad. Very rare. The only time I've seen anything, well, the big trouble is when they put them in ponds. But even then, you got to get them out and dry them out. You need to open up the battery, you get the covers off of it, get some air blowing on it. Once you dry them out, you got to go through all the connections, make sure, you know what I'm saying, put a little... One of the remote controls we have, um, it's more of the computer, the brain part of it. So they're, these guys get done, they hose it down. Yep. Well, after they bought a couple of them, they burn them. Well, I mean, I think that's an industry wide known fact that the garden hose is bad for any mower, man. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. and especially this one, though. I mean, you can wash this with a hose, but I would not lift the seat good spraying in there for sure. No, no. You know, what we recommend is blowing them off. You know, just take the blower and blow them off, which most landscapers do, do anyway. Yeah. So the controllers, again, I mean, these are probably uh, running like seventy percent capacity, so they're not they're not really totally labored. You know what I mean? That's where on the old generation, prior to coming to this one, we did have controller failures. So they everything's much bigger on this gen than it was on the last gen. The deck motors, the wheel motors. When you turn it on, the first thing you'll hear is these fan motors back here in the back, and there's ducking that goes down to those wheel motors because really that's the only thing that makes any heat on this whole machine. So other than that, I mean, everything's cool as a cucumber on the beer. What size blades are you running on these things? Well, it varies. And there, they are unique to us. This is a five billion deck, five billion deck. Yes, and two of them come from the tent of the doctor, so you got two of them under there with a green and a red. For the multi you just want to pull that baffling out, which you can see it. You can actually take the baffling out and just make it. If you're just cutting some big nasty by hand. You know, like this field right here, you're probably not really looking for a finished comb. You just want to make tall grass short. Like I pull the back one out if you're going to be setting the battery or something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, around the golf course, you probably don't do What are you getting out of this on a day? It'll only give you an extra 10, 15 minutes. It's not much. It really isn't. But at one time, they were you were able to get a, a $4,500 solar tax credit through the state of Florida for buying a $1,500 solar panel. So, you know, that's, that's yeah, something else to take into consideration as well. Even if you didn't use it, that would be simple fact. Although, like, of course, like the deck motor, the deck motor, that all fall under that two year warranty. There's, that's, that's a full year on that. Which they're going to be they're going to be changing that to basically what everybody else has, like on a five year, so many hours. Yeah, I don't know. It's the same as the next six months. But right now it's four years on the It's three years on the battery, one year on the
I got I got a picture on our hands. We got Jimmy Jacksonville of an old gym that um it was actually seven years old at four thousand hours on the guy still has it every day. Yeah, I like the original battery? Good enough. Doctor good enough. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Maybe. This one right here was actually the third one off of the line. The very first standard they made. And that one was seven years old and had over 4,000 hours. He had it in there for a decade.